my little hippo Nick gave me when we went to Brookfield Zoo. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's Wow, who was honking their horn? Okay, man, stay out of my place. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>the collab channel so this week's theme is vibrant eyes and I don't know why I'm not a huge fan of like pink and purple and Barbie colors but I came up with pinks and purples and I know you might be thinking Brianne you are weird so today's theme is that and I want to apologize before we get started on um something Last week I did not post a video because I had one pre-filmed and everything and I was ready to go and Wednesday night was really hectic because I had to help my friends film a video project and it's hilarious. I'm debating whether or not to put it on YouTube. I probably will, but I probably won't. I don't know. But um and I had to help them film a project and uh, I stayed up to like 1.30 in the morning doing it. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm just like, and I woke up the next morning. I was, I forgot all about to put the video up. So I'm so sorry about last week. Um, that will never, ever happen again, I promise. Uh, it's just, it, things have been really hectic for me ever since I got this job. And yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. Okay, so let's get on to the tutorial. All right, so first what we're going to do is we're going to prime our eye using whatever primer you have. I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, I love this primer potion. This will just make the eyeshadow a little bit more um, vibrant than it is already. So I love Urban Decay Primer Potion. It stays on all day and I just love it. What we're going to do is we are going to go into our um, 120 palette. You can find this at BH Cosmetics and you're going to go into the second plate, the one with the ribbon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flat shader brush, and it looks like this, it's pink from today, and I'm going to go into this light color right here, this very light pink color, and I'm just going to dip my flat shader brush into that, and it's very, very light pink. So just like that. If you want to, you can tap off any access. And I'm just going to pat this into my inner corner of my eye a little bit and kind of make it my way up. Okay, next what I'm going to do is, as you can see, we use that pink color right there. We're just gonna go one over like that right there. I'm just gonna flip my brush over and I'm just gonna dip my brush into that. And this is gonna, um, I'm gonna blend it in with this light pink. So basically we are having a contrast from light to dark like we did over here. So that's what we're going to do. And you're just going to want to pat this lightly on here. Okay, so as you can see, these are both blended in. So now we're going to go back into this uh, palette again. And we're just using the second plate throughout this whole tutorial. And I'm just going to take a uh, flat, uh, an angled um, blending brush. And I'm just going to go into this very dark purple right here. This purple is so dark and pigmented. You only need like a dab of it. I'm just going to put two or three. Um, this purple is very, very pigmented. And what you're going to do is you're going to close your eye and you're just going to angle it like that and kind of blend it in with the pink a little bit. Then you're going to flip it over so it's angled like this and you're just going to put it into your crease lightly, very lightly. You might need to pick up some a little bit more color. So um, just pick up a little bit more. And you're just going to put this in your crease lightly, just barely touching your brush into the crease. Now, once you have that done, you want to go back into here and we're just going to take a little bit more purple and I'm just going to make it a little bit more darker. Just like that. Now, if you need to go back with any other color, do that. I'm going to go back with that hot pink and I'm just going to go lighten it up just a little bit, blending it in with the purple. And then I'm going to go back to that very, very, very light pink. And I'm just going to blend that in with the purple a little bit too. Hey guys, we're done with the eyeshadow. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a, um, uh, we're lining our eyes now. And I'm taking a Jordana Glitter Rocks collection. And this is in 04 Punk Rock Purple. And it's a very glittery purple. I love 
this eyeliner a lot and it just looks like this looks a little bit black on camera but it is purple and I'm just going to line my top lash line using this you can make the line as thick as you want but if you don't want the pink to go away don't do it too thick next um, for my waterline I'm just going to use a small black um, eye pencil and this is just in black and I'm just going to line this very gently because we don't want to take away too much color from the eyes because black contend contend tends <laughs> to um, close our eye up and uh, make it so we look really sleepy and really drowsy and we don't want that at all. Next I'm just going to curl my lashes using Revlon's Lash Curler and I'm just going to curl my lashes for at least six seconds. And then I'm just going to be taking um, uh, Revlon's Grow Luscious by Fab Lash Mascara. And it's in this really green bright tube. You can't miss it. And this is in black. It's black. And I love this, eye, uh, this mascara so much. And I'm just going to put this on. Next, since we have such a very bright pigmented eye, we do not want to go overboard with our lips or our cheeks. So I'm just going to skip blush. You can put on bronzer if you want to. I'm just going to skip all that. And I'm just going to do lips. Um, it's winter time. Well, not really winter. It's fall. But it feels like winter time here. Um, it is fall time here. And my lips are getting very, very chapped. And even though I'm not kissing anybody, even though I'm not messing with anything, I want my lips to stay smooth because it irks me when I have very rough lips because it just, it just makes me mad. So I'm just going to be taking Wet n Wild's Mega Mixers. And this is their new collection. And this is in 277 Mango Margarita. You can find this at any drugstore. Wet n Wild is a very cheap makeup brand. Um, but they work really well. Um, I haven't had any trouble with their makeup at all. They're cheap, but they're amazing. I, they're, it's like e.l.f. basically. So, um, I'm just going to be taking this. As you can see, I've already kind of made a dent in it because, um, I love this thing so much. And I'm just going to take it with a clean finger and I'm just going to put this on. I already had some on already, but oh well. And put that all over my lips. This is very moisturizing and really nice. I love this stuff so much. I always carry this around everywhere I go. Okay, guys. So that is the final look. As you can see, very vibrant eyes. Um, I don't know why. This reminds me of Barbie. Probably because it's pink and purple. Whoa. Um, so I really like this um, color. Excuse my nails. They're not painted. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, I try to make it as simple as possible for you guys because I know some of our viewers are pretty young. And if you are being Barbie for any reason, I know Halloween is over, but if you're being Barbie for any reason, this is a really good toned down tutorial. I know there are a lot of Barbie tutorials on YouTube that are like, BAM! And I'm just like, oh well, some of us do not want to wear that much makeup now. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and happy Thursday. I hope you guys all had a great Thursday, and um, I will see you guys all next week. Bye!